graph uh, y equals negative 2 sine of 2x plus pi plus 1. So the pattern that I use is I first deal with the vertical stuff. So my vertical shift is 1. So that means instead of starting at the x-axis, I'm going to start above it. So I like to draw the line in. There's my vertical shift. My amplitude is negative 2. So that means that it's going to go down as far as negative 1. So I'll put a dotted line. It's going to go up as far as positive 3. If you want to write in y equals 3 and y equals negative 1, you can do that just to help you out. But you don't necessarily need to. All right, so those are my vertical and horizontal. Um, oh, I made a mistake. I drew in my line. I, I like to not draw that uh, that y-axis in yet until I know where my vertical shifts are. So I'll take that off for now. All right, so now let's do the uh, period. The period is related to b there, and it's 2 pi over b. So 2 pi over 2, which is just pi. So it's going to go from 0 to pi. And halfway in between those is going to be half of pi halfway in between that and zero is going to be a quarter of a pi and this is one quarter two quarters three quarters four quarters that's how I like to do it easiest way to do it you can watch the video about creating unit circle uh, radians and angle measures and that'll help you understand how I did that if you want to alright the last thing and the hardest part is to figure out the shift the horizontal shift is always the one that tricks people the most so let's do that. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, there's a couple ways to do it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 2x plus pi, and I'm going to set it equal to 0, and solve for x, which is negative pi over 2, and that tells me that I shift it pi over 2 left. So I would have started at 0, but instead I'm going to subtract pi over 2 from everything. Now, sometimes this is hard to do because it's fractions, and you guys hate fractions, but sometimes it's easy if you just look at it. Okay, well, this is going to be negative pi over 2 right here. This is going to be 0, and this is going to be positive pi over 2, and then fill in the rest. This would be negative pi over 4 because it's halfway between negative pi over 2 and 0, and this is positive pi over 4. That wasn't so bad to do. And then, of course, just erase all all your work or put it in parentheses or whatever you want to do but now now I can draw in my y-axis there's my y-axis right there in fact I'm gonna rewrite these things down below so I can draw my graph more easily negative pi over 4 0 pi over 4 pi over 2 so I'll erase these things right here alright now to finish it off I'll use uh, pink. Remember, this is a sine graph. So on a sine graph, it's going to start in the middle and end in the middle. That red line was my middle line, and in the middle, it's going to be in the middle. Because remember, your sine graph look, looks like this. Start, end, and in the middle, it goes through the center line as well. When it's a negative amplitude it starts going in the negative direct starts by going down and then at the fourth point it goes up so those are my five key points I can carefully draw the curve remember it's a curve it's not a they're not straight lines and so you could even keep drawing it a little bit like this if you want to so you keep in mind that it's going to keep going forever but there is one period of the graph given by this equation